Welcome back everyone to the Europa 2 Goodbye Despair! Where we just gonna check out the little rest of the lobby here when we... I guess this is the reception's desk, but there's nobody here. Well, we talked with the people in the hotel already, so we otherwise need to leave this place, I think. This place even have a card machine! <laughs> it's so great. This chair is a grand hotel. It's like we're at an inn at the hot spring district or something. Yeah, sure, I think that's... Oh, that. We can check the other one also, why is that special about? There's an account machine, it definitely feels more like a hot spring inn than a five star hotel. Wh why would that be? Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. I look like to go outside, thanks. We don't need to go to the restaurant again. At least I don't think so. Okay, uh, we've been here. Was there anything like here to the east side also? I think this might be... Hotel is old building. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> Ah, no, no. This old building is the middle of our innovation project, so I can't go inside. It's dangerous, you know. Showing up out of nowhere is even more dangerous. Yeah, that scared me quite a lot. But I love this music. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> If I want the team music, I think I would like this team music wherever I go. I mean, it probably would get old pretty quickly, but otherwise it's like... Uh, hey! Da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> I love that! <laughs> oh, that was something! Okay, so we can't go over there then, otherwise, yeah, unless we're gonna try and check every of the houses. Then it's um, not gonna be anything here, I guess, so... Let's move on and try and find the rest of the peeps. I'm sure there are some left, right? Uh, the little girl, genius or something, I guess she's... Why would she be a genius? I just assumed that for some reason. It's a little girl, I know though. She looks like a little girl, maybe she isn't. Maybe she's a full grown adult high schooler. And has some other nut Thailand. Ooh, a farm! How wonderful. Was, why wasn't the ultimate breeder on the farm? Or ranch? I'm sorry, it's a ranch. Where you breed animals. Some coral? What? Yeah, see, there we are, the little girl. Uh, this looks like a ranch. Those there aren't many animals, uh, though there aren't that many animals around. Right? <laughs> ah, you found it out. You again? Seriously, where do you keep appearing from with that awesome music? <laughs> hey, do do do. Bow. Da da da. Way. Uh. I can shop anywhere, anytime. The systems allow me to appear anywhere on the island. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? Is she talking about the toy she's holding? Hmm. Uh, still, I'm quite troubled. A yeast without any moo cows is like a sacket without any boss. But we saw cows before, moo cows. Move. You might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Alrighty. Yes, leave it to me. My hand is in the magic stick. Bibbidi bobbidi, bibbidi bobbidi. Bibbidi bobbidi, boo. That's all just now. A chicken changed into a cow. That's not it. No, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was a setup before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hijami. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know. Yeah, I guess so. Hey! What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and she keeps pressing her fingers onto the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hejima Hinata. Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm Hyoko Sayonji. Traditional dancing? Okay. I... Okay. 
She hasn't stopped pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what's she doing? And her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, Joker's talent is made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performance are popular among young audience, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. It's probably because she looks so young, her fans probably all have the same niche or something. Hey, what exactly are you doing? Hey, I'm squishing! Squishing what? Mr. Ant! Mr. Ant, of course! I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants! Come again? <laughs> if you squish the tummy is lost right, it makes this awesome sound! Wanna do it together? Hell no! Okay! Um, you was. This kid, her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all! <laughs> No, it doesn't! She's squishing ants! Oh. Yo. Hey, how you did? It's nice to finally meet you, I Hajima Hinata. Hey, I guess ya. Here's the sad to do. What? Huh, haven't we already met? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I pretty much sucks at remembering names, so I met so many interesting characters today. Um, Nagito, come here. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name yeah. Kane Owari. Nice to meet you. Ultimate gymnast. You do remember a lot of Hina. You know, the boobs, the face, well... hair color, gymnast, swimmer. And she was very much into all the him kind, so sure. Aken is known as the ultimate gymnast and an all around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. Her self center, no matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called an ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performance must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as normal high school students. I mean, she got the physique of an Olympic athlete. The puns on the athlete because those that for a gymnast with those things, she would so fall off balance, right? What? Huh? Don't tell me you. Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. Wait, that was all of her? Cow. Hi cow. Based on appearance, it looks just like a regular run-of-the-mill cow. What kind of trick is changing a chicken into a cow anyway? A platform under that just brings it up and... Aren't those supposed to only be near New Zealand? Aren't they on some island near New Zealand only, I thought these birds? A tropical bird, that's what I should call it, right? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Anything? No. Only do Sami Coral. Huh, I guess it's a ranch. How can that rabbit own a ranch in the first place? Well, I shouldn't think too hard about it anyway. I guess so. Then, there should be one more place, right? At least for Bakuya. And whoever he's with. But otherwise, yeah. Wonder where we can go. And now we're basically going in a circle. Yay! Can we go up this bridge or central island? Ooh. It looks like if we go across this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? That's what we're going to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will you do? Well, I'm sure someone's already there. Oh. So I guess maybe we get access to more island further ahead? In the game after people have died? Who knows? Oh, we're in the central there island, yeah. But there seems to be other places also. So now, how do we get to the middle here, the only place we can go? Because the other islands are probably closed until 
like the flaws, you know? Can we go faster? Like, yes, we can! Running, a ring, keep running, he keep running, he keep running. Hajimi? Yeah. So much faster now. See, that's island number five, so I guess maybe we went the wrong way. Can't go there. Island number four, can't go there. It's closed. I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like the gates are blocking it. Look at another island on the other side of that bar. It seems we can't cross it. Yeah, it seems. That seems to be the case. Okay, so yeah. Just wanted to confirm it and see if they said anything about it. Uh, look at the ocean. Up and down, up and down, up and up and down, up and down, and down. How do I go to the middle bit? Oh, here we are. Yamber Wook Park. Yamber Wook. Let's slay it with an vorpal sword, right? No? Maybe? Oh, Makui is alone. So this is a park. This is. A park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so nice. I really forgot that really boisterous voice that I can do really easily until the second to last people and one is a baby girl basically and the other one was her oh, that didn't feel right either maybe i changed it for the princess there as i thought before such a laid back attitude because we don't seem to have anyone else here now but if we weren't in a situation like this i'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself if being the keyword how are your introductions going i'd like to inform you about other features you may have already noticed but you have a level assigned to you i'm level five it's display on the type right corner of your screen. Your level increase by forming, performing various actions such as walking, examining and talking to others. Every time you level up you will become stronger than you were before. The number of skills you can equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up often. Yeah, what about the bronze statue first? It's a bronze statue of various animals, plus it's pretty huge. Wow, what a grand statue. Yeah, it's grand, but isn't it also kind of creepy? What? You think so? I think it looks splendid. I mean, look at it. I probably symbolize the old island. It sure is grand. This island symbol, huh? Yeah. Hi, Bakuya. What do you want? What do you want? This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. How did you get so fat? Even his body is overwhelming. Ah, uh, Bakuya. Have time for a small introduction. Introduction! Come on, Hajime. Um, hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. My name is Byakuya Togami. A fluent prodigy, he still has the same, even though he's gained a lot of weight. You're not ultimate athletic any longer or anything. And uh, that's it, right? Back up. I can tell this guy is thumbing his nose at me. Hmm. Well, I suppose that's Bakuya for you. What do you mean? Actually, That guy is particularly special, even by ultimate standard. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate, even though it was destroyed like a year ago or something. He's already begun managing the business operation and his network is well, well enormous. How admirable. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. That's like a manga audience story. <laughs> you there, immediate was it? Uh, Tell me, why did Upspeak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Um, the thing is, I honestly can't remember, so I'm probably the ultimate detective. What? Yeah, don't remember. <laughs> Apparently he lost his memory due to sure He can't really remember much. Heh, <laughs> how foolish. Um, yes. I do believe we have finished Taki. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Yes, Move along, that's the only thing your skinny types are good at, it seems. I liked you better skinny yourself, Bakuya. Let's your, let's your sleep, Hijami. 
Yeah, sure thing. His spill and that overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. Is this what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny? Does this mean it's night time? Was that the school bell just now? Huh? How do you mean? Look at the monitor over there. So we're all going home now. Yay! I'm so happy. Uh oh. So I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach. <laughs> May shining hope be with you all. Okay. <laughs> what to do? She said to meet at the beach. Is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. Think you won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that a precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried, but it would look bad if it, I was the only one who didn't go. Yeah, sure, let's go then. I'm just gonna fast travel this time around, I think. If we can... Go, no. How do I go to the... Oh, there we go to other islands. I uh, can't go there directly, but we can go to this little map. Keep running, young, keep running, uh, hey, keep running, young. Uh, Hi, Jimmy. Bitch. Wonderful. And everyone's here. Such you get a little hey. What are you dilly dallying for? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. Well, it's a rare. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit return. We, we were just talking a moment ago and you pushed me away. We could have talked together then. <laughs> yeah, let's talk, let's talk. Now then, let me hear your initial impression of this alarm. I happen to notice numerous blocks of bridge on the central island. Everybody doesn't get lost. I tried to cast one of them and the rabbit shut up and tell me so I'm telling the truth. Uh. What? So we don't get lost? Is this island really so big? <laughs> huh, but if you look at it in the depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's just got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've never been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey! Uh, Asa, that's a big ranch! Um, the also like supermarket too. It looks like it stocks everything from food to living amenities. Hmm. hmm. The hotel was really nice. It'd be great if we can stay there. <laughs> I gotta give her the bosses. The restaurant inside the hotel was also very nice. It seems to cater to a more plebeian taste. Um, can you guys listen to what I wanna say too? I found something very... Very important on this island. Girls, very, very good. Girls are all over the place. Gross! I'm getting goosebumps! <laughs> all of you are fools. I can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth. The most serious truth? Not possible. If no one realized it, you all begin fools than my thought. What do you say? You fat person? Don't talk all big and shit. Small dogs in the back of the lab. The most serious truth. What does he mean? Cameras everywhere? Is that it? Can I? Are you serious? I can talk with everyone now. No, we're just gonna talk with Bakuya. He just wanted. Hey, what's the most serious truth? Did did you find something about this island? <laughs> Have you all got the back across the bridge? The park with that weird bronze statue of all the creepy animals, right? Listen. When I saw it, I remembered that story I had before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. It's also said that five only animals symbolize each of these surrounding islands. Um, 
that island name is. Dang Island. Yabberwick Island. I, yeah, there was actually a sign for that. Yeah, now it was for the park, Yabberwick Park. Could it be? Could this island be? Yabberwick Island? Is that the name of this island? I mean, there was Yabberwick Park, so it makes sense. Very strange. Still, there's something in my mouth. In fact, according to what I add, Yabberwick Island is already. Hmm. Never mind. Right there! There's a running complete story you told us! Don't worry. No need to hear. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. Uh, <sighs> meh, I don't care what this sign is called. Nika Nika Island or Papua Island or whatever. Does it change the fact that we all got to live here, right? Yeah. Living together on the tropical island sure is exciting! I'm super looking forward to uh. Ruh. This ain't a bad school at all. Hey, you guys. I like it. Um, I like this island too. Can't say the same about the rest of your Cretans. Um, eh, did I hear something? Hmm. I'm still worried. No, <laughs> I'm still worried, but I don't feel worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, since the non linear are incubation, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We are here to... Oh right, we're all here to attend Hope's Peak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead? No matter what, it's completely weird! Hey, don't you stop talking for a while, you cool head off or something! Uh... Plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> there's no ship on the plains, I guess for sure. For what I discovered, there are no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for L. Um, the way that we are swimmer. It's impossible! <laughs> There's no way we can swim that far! Show some spirit! Show some spirit. What? Are you stupid? <laughs> I'm telling you, that's impossible! Then, what if we could cut them down some trees and made a raft? I won't let you! Yeah, uh, 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 you can't do that! That's the big one on us! <laughs> I can't get over the song whenever she up here. Please call the guidance of the school trip. Littering is not a lot. Let us coexist with this island's beautiful nature in mutual prosperity. Well, that's the only say littering is not allowed, so we can't chop down trees. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this island's tropical, on this beautiful tropical island. What what's with these rules? Who cares about that? That's enough. That the rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these circle rules. Based on that, what if your action places everyone here in danger? That word danger is a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. Adime, I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? Hey, uh, for now, as long as we don't do anything weird. It seems there's no danger. Yep. And as long as we gather the whole fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. You're just gonna believe that? <laughs> there's no child is just but to believe, but now that is. Hey, hey! Anyway, uh, Sammy, what's this person you may say? You know, uh, in their announcement earlier, huh? Ah, wow. uh, that's right. Well, of course, I didn't forget. Love, love, this is it. Don't be so upset. I prepared one for all of you. So don't worry. What is this? <laughs> it's an insane mystery. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. I'm Usami. Magical miracle girl Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like magic. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it cute? Love, love. What a waste of time. Man, I guess I'm a hopes up too. In my shame, I even had my hopes up. You think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute, especially how the ears look like a rabbit. Well, a Sammy does mean a rabbit, you know? I I never thought of it, but now when you mention it, yeah, of course I do now. Wait, a Sammy? Isn't it Osagi? Yeah, it's Osagi that's rabbit, right? 
That's why. Uh, she, uh, 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 she's sorry. She's meant. Uh, what, uh, uh, my Japanese is confused. I'm sorry, everyone. Regardless, a large number of Sami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, after everyone received that strap, they just tossed them on the beach. Hey! Hey! He can't take Nathan with trash! So you're calling them trash? <laughs> See? See? You've been using the trash! S Sammy sadly picked up the strap and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. Prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to the packets. Huh? You have something else? Um, well, compared to the Osami stat, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I prepared a motive for everyone. A motive? Hey! That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. We come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island thing. Uh, uh, like what? Well, I think you have to have a big party or something. Collect! Is it a festival? Or maybe a minute's a shrine? How wonderful! Wait, no, no, hold on. How do I turn off auto? I accidentally pressed it on auto. How do I. Uh, how do I change that again? Is that. Where's my help? Alright, oh, help button. That's not this. Um, auto mode, right? Okay, that's what. No, wait. Da oh, there. Knock it off, Tetru. We already missed what you said, but knock it off. You probably said something really sexist against the girl. All right. Ah, you tenderloins. You better. We just think you know him, Sonia. If we take a best film about this on a tropical island, maybe it should be a barbecue sending. <laughs> ah, a campfire sounds fun too. Let's kill. Let's find Hopsnick and Killy. You serious? I'm looking for one, not enough for you. I see. It seems everyone has different ideas, but if we're gonna be at the ocean, then first, this is what it's all about. This is. A swimming bath. Correct, love, love. Whoa. Well, that means. That's right. A swimming suit for everyone. Well, school swimming suits. Actually, I hope that's okay. Are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? It's perfect time for swimming. The sun, the beach, everything. It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim. Anything. It's just if you want to go swimming, you can. There's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be so totally asked to go swimming in a situation like what? <laughs> yeah! Uh. That's right. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With weather nice, nice, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. Even my lungs agree. See. Right. Your tenderloins. I understand. Wait. Seriously, don't try to understand. How long has it been since I left swimming to see? Alright, let's go change! Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuits from Usami and ran straight to the hotel to change. Wait! What are you going to do, Hajame? Uh, um, I understand I feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'll be happy if you come along too. After he said it, Nagato ran over to the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island. There's nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? Uh, I don't think you're wrong. There's probably something gonna happen sooner or later. <laughs>